how do you get 97% accuracy in predicting topics? I'm going to show you the examiner's approach, which is always 97% accurate. Predicting topics for any WIEC exam has been way easier than ever. Whether it is the BEC, the WASI, or even the NOVDEC, I've got you covered. Now, my name is Sir Prince, and I've been teaching students who have been writing the WASI, the BEC, and the NOVDEC, and I've been using the examiner's approach. And in this video, I'm going to show you the examiner's approach, which is always 97% accurate. Now, this method makes you even study even beyond what the average student will do, such that you would always be on track. As I always tell my students, you don't need to study all the topics in the test book in order to get your grade A. Now, every examiner has in mind that there are some topics that are more relevant than others. And in this video, I'm just going to show you that. Now, this method doesn't only work for WIAC exams, but any other exams. Now, when I was schooling, I was also teaching. So when I discovered it, I applied it even while I was schooling. And in my group study, my friends were always happy because I was always getting the topics right. Now, how do you get this right? How do you get 97% accuracy in predicting topics? Now, what you need is your past question or past papers. Now, if you have the test book, which has grouped all the past questions into topics, the work is easier. But if you don't have the test book, which has grouped the past questions into various topics, I've still got you. Now, let me start with those who do not have the past question grouped in the test book. What you need to do is get the previous past questions for, let's say, five years and begin to mark the topics that are most repeated and mark them out. Now, after marking them out, what you need to do now is to arrange the topics that you find in these number of years. Now, take note, you have to start counting the number of questions for those topics. Now, you realize that for some topics, there aren't a lot of questions, but for others, you realize that there are more. Now, stick to those topics that are most repeated. Now, for those who have the past question book, all you have to do is just look at the number of questions, you know, because it has already been grouped for you. The work is easier. Yes. Look at, for example, for some topics, you realize that there are over a hundred objective questions. Now for such topics, you don't play with them. For those ones that have less than 50 questions, you can sideline them. I don't mean to say that those questions are not likely to come, but you don't need to study everything. Now, after you are done with that, you know what to focus on, you know the most relevant topics. Now, to those subjects that also have the practical aspect, what you need to do is to go through each practical question and then know the topic that that practical question falls under. I know for sure that not all topics have a practical aspect. So if you are writing a subject and that subject has a practical aspect, give attention to that. Now, to make this easy, I have already grouped these topics for you. Kindly check in a comment section or check the pinned comment to tap on a link to message me privately. After messaging me privately, what you do is just type the words free guide. Now, the free guide is going to give you access to predicted topics, which drop almost every year on integrated science, biology, physics, chemistry, core mass, and then elective mass. And for those subjects I didn't mention, all you have to do is to follow the approach I just explained in this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and share with a friend.